What's going on everybody? On March 12, 2021, the Akron Zips took on the Bowling Green State University Falcons in a MAC Conference quarterfinals game. The Zips over the past three years have been known to be a second half team, where the first half they'll be lackadaisical and show little to no efforts. The second half they'll push through, sometimes it'll be a little too late for them to come back. However, this time they were a first half team and they did blow a 12 point lead, which ended up being a tie which came from two late threes, which gave the Zips back the lead, and then they eventually pulled away and won the game. They can't have many performances like that if they expect to win the MAC Conference Championship. The first half of this game was a back and forth thriller, with a bunch of clutch threes, a bunch of clutch dunks, great rebounds, and a great pick and roll that we've seen all year from Enrique Freeman and Lauren Christian Jackson. That pick and roll has honestly committed so many defensive errors from the other teams because they didn't know who to switch on. If you pick up on Lauren Christian Jackson, Enrique Freeman will have an open dunk. If you drop down for Enrique Freeman, Lauren Christian Jackson will have a pull-up jumper or a three-pointer that will swish in. The Falcons seem to have no answer for it, and that is the reason why they ended up losing the game. They couldn't hit shots, and they couldn't stop the pick and roll. The Zips are also known to get in foul trouble and commit unnecessary fouls. They're known to have a few technical fouls, a lot of personal fouls. Last game against the Falcons, Lauren Christian Jackson, the leading scorer of the Akron Zips, fouled out. This time around, he played 38 minutes and did not foul out, and that ended up resulting in the win as well. The difference from this game and the last game where Bowling Green won is that they shot 39.7% from the field. They also shot 13% from three and 71% from the free throw line while adding two turnovers to the game. However, two turnovers typically doesn't cost you many games. The Zips' aggressive scoring, their aggressive defense led them to the win. Akron turned it around this time while shooting 43% from the field 33% from the three-point line, shooting 7 of 21 from three, 70% from the free throw line, and only having six turnovers. They did way better than they had the last two performances against Bowling Green. BGSU had different players scoring the load today. Daquan Plowden tied a career high with 26 points for the Falcons, and Chandler Turner also added 12 points and eight rebounds for the Falcons. Akron's star guard, Lauren Christian Jackson, the former MAC Player of the Year, scored 31 points as the Akron Zips beat the Bowling Green Falcons 74-67 in the MAC Conference quarterfinals. This win comes two weeks after the Zips suffered an 83-71 loss to Bowling Green in conference play. Akron will now meet the number two seeded Buffalo in a Friday late semifinal game. This time around, Lauren Christian Jackson, who did play 38 minutes this game, got some help on a scoring column, as Brian Trimble Jr. added 12 points for the University of Akron. Ali Ali also added nine points with six rebounds, and Enrique Freeman pulled down nine more rebounds. Jermaine Marshall was the crucial player in the second half, as he scored eight points with back-to-back -back three pointers over the course of 51 seconds in the game's final minutes. He turned a 63-63 tie into a 69-63 Akron lead with 2.36 remaining. This game came down to three pointers made. The Akron Zips took over late and when it counted, and they shot seven of 21 from the three point line, making four more three pointers than the Falcons. The Falcons shot three of 23 from the three point line and that won't win you many games at all. The Zips pushed through towards the end and they fought long and hard and the win was definitely earned. We look forward to seeing them the next game against the Buffalo Bulls in the semifinals of the MAC Conference. Way to fight in the end, Zips. And until next time, my name is Nico Weathers.